What, what, what is that? That's not an answer. That's just you shaking your head. Clown. Oh. Oh, that was good. A little reference to that PSX game at the finale. I like it. What the hell is this? This is... Oh! Yeah, there we go. that hold on now what is this what is this uh, Sith Lord nonsense here now I get the feeling we are doing this. See, for a second I thought that maybe that not to be taken lightly, Cloud. I thought that maybe that uh bring it in Yoon. Oh, oh, okay, that's a Gotcha! In the back! Sweet! Oh, Bring it. Oh, Is he gonna do a follow up? No, no, I'm not. See, I thought maybe for a second that 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 the big whisper we just fought might have been the actual final boss, and we never actually fight Sephiroth in this game. Yeah, that was wishful thinking on my part. Here we are. <laughs> oh, gotcha! What? What? Man, Sephiroth, so far, you are not up to snuff. <laughs> Cutscene power to the max, ya dingus. Oh, I could have gotten that earlier. That's bad. This, these moves, names of these moves, Aeolian Onslaught, Telluric Fury, they're hilarious. Oh, ooh, I... I Oh. oh yeah, get the stagger meter up. Dude, his meter is building. Is he still? He is, which means now it's time for some big damage. Probably should have refocused, but like, come on. Look at those values. Okay. Yeah, I got the feeling we're barely getting started here because... You can't... What is this monsoon nonsense? These crap balls? Did you miss me? Not really. <laughs> oh, this music's fantastic. Yeah? So what? Screw him. <laughs> Freaking, that's awesome! Oh, I got blown. Wait a second, hold on. Oh my god! <laughs> hold on now! Hold, hold, hold your horses. Okay, well, this isn't working. Let's go back. For a second, I wanted to be like, wait a second. I'm like using Aerith to fight. Fight Sephiroth. That would have been so sick because of reasons. Hell's Gate. Okay. Ne cool. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, everybody get healed. 
Boundless Void does not sound good. Oh god, that's some something that's you know tracking thingy. Okay. Oh, was that just his hair, or did I just see a wing there? Or maybe a one wing. Bring it. No holding back. Ah, uh, he switches to like ranged as soon as I put on my mode. There we go. I felt I I just wanted to for a second be like use my my like my little uh, follow up there. Oh oh shit! Oh my god! No, this this dream match of fight having Aerith in the fight against Sephiroth, I wasn't even thinking about that. This is so good. Scintilla? What the heck this I'm waiting. Dude, dude was setting up a hard counter. He was he was like like me with my counter stance. Yeah! He was like setting up his own counter stance. Uh, let's do a refocus right now because we probably need this. We probably need this. Uh... We probably need the extra abilities here in in, in just a second. So. He <sighs> swipes. There we go. Let's do this. That's it. Now you're in for it. Oh no no dramatics this time? Okay, fine. Come on! For you. Come on! There it is. Okay, I I did I saw I saw wrong. It was his hair I saw previously, because I did not see that giant wing there. Ooh. Let's do this! That's so cool! Oh my god! What I missed. Man, this is just becoming more and more fantastic. I love this. Oh, the memories. Go on. Yeah, I'm gonna punch this guy in the face. Flame wall. Okay, I see. Oof. I may have been a little short there with that. Oh, that Aeolian onslaught there. Ooh, Aerith. Dude, what the? Is, is he shooting a laser? I, 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 oh, he like draws the freaking flame wall. Interesting. Uh, I'm getting a little clapped here. Hold on, we can summon in this fight? Ooh. <sighs> I tried to get out of there, but not quite. Man, his, his... Yeah, he's way tougher now, this phase. Oh, but guess what? He's not good against oh, Octa Slash. Probably should have gotten away from that one. Oh my God! Slow down the pace, Sephiroth. Or actually, don't. Here comes this. Okay. This is where things get a little bad. I know, I know. Not great. Still up for it. I think we had our fun playing as uh, Tifa there for a bit. I just really wanted to punch Tifa in the face. Uh, not punch Tifa. Punch Sephiroth in the face with Tifa. That was so good. Wish I could have done more with Aerith. That, that would have been sick. Doing some moves with, with Aerith on Sephiroth. 
All right. Now, let's get all the summons today. I... You're up. Why the heck not? Leviathan seems like the hard counter against Severoth. Okay. I was gonna wait for Aerith to get her cure off, but... Oh boy, this again, huh? I'm not sure how to avoid that one, if we're being perfectly honest. That kind of came in on me pretty hard, that Octa Slash. Running low on those Mega Potions. Oh, what an interrupt. Uh, thanks, Leviathan. Yeah, this phase is definitely putting in the work now. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta get that interrupt in there. No Blizzaga, please. Oh, he got the Blizzaga. What a, what a, what a crumb bum. Ooh. These combos don't end this time, huh? Enjoy. <sighs> so many elements. Wind whale. Oh, that's the onslaught. Yeah. With the mad combos. Be careful. This is a great take on Sephiroth's theme song, by the way. <laughs> Dude, he just got in front of me like that. That was messed up. Oh. Oh, no. Ah, okay, cool. I was going to say Aerith almost has her, but, but Sephiroth is uh, pretty damn fast now, so he doesn't really... He has no chill, this guy. Oh, uh, we're down to 10 Mega Potions. This is getting... <laughs> Don't look away. So it's my turn? <laughs> Beg for forgiveness. Elemental infusion. That'll do. Uh, come on, pop him. Uh, it's something. Ooh, I'm actually gonna do this really quickly to get us up. Oh! I've screwed up my prey! No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Ho, 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 ho. No! I had this. I had it, I had it, I had this fight, but. Ah! Had this goddamn fight, but now it's a mess. Oh, with that quick Firaga. Oh. Be careful. Okay, 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 okay. So I can't, I can't wait for our ATB to fill up to to get Tifa in here as well. I gotta get this healing wind off, or we are not winning. So, unfortunately, some dire moves here. I, I really dropped the ball here on this final part, didn't I? Shadow Flare! No! Oh, oh. That's a very, very bad move in the original game. Uh, I'm really getting... I really shouldn't have trash-talked him at the start where he was just a nice... Nice character action boss. Oh, with that power up. Not power up, the, the follow up. <sighs> Get that out of there, but that 
no, no Firaga follow up this time. Nice. Ah! Ah! Oh, and I thought I was out of the area. Ugh. No, 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 no. You can't do Octa Slash all the damn time. Oh, wow. Aerith with the clutch heal there. It saved us from the Octa Slash. <laughs> I was very lucky. All right. Let's see if we can slow down Sephiroth for like a hot second. Ooh, interrupted the Hell's Gate. Lucky. Come on. Wait, no. Oh, no. No follow-up. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, we're looking okay for now, but... Man, if he keeps this pressure up, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am actually kind of jittery. He's down! No, not quite. Yeah. What? I thought the ghosts were gonna save us, but apparently not. What the? Wait, where's the shadow flare coming? Oh no, Eric got caught in it. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many shadow flares. Hold on now. Nine. Wait, 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 wait. There's not a countdown, is there? Hold on. I'm, like, kind of stuck, guys. Not cool, not cool, brah. Kept you waiting? This time. Eight. No, there's a countdown. This is not cool. I don't like this. Shall I give you despair? Oh, this is a very, very bad move. It's a PlayStation game. Okay. Seven. Oh, I can't. I can't do. This. No, 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 no. Oh my God! He just wiped us there at the end. No. Just before this battle, or the first battle of the series. Sorry, I don't understand how to read these three choices here. Uh, resume, maybe? Resume for the first battle of the... Or just before... Let's see what this is. I think this is the... Damn! He just cleaned us up there at the end. <laughs> that was very... I, we were doing really good, and then... Okay. Well, we'll see. Now, I don't know what resume... If I picked the first one, would I have to go... All the way back to the, the, the fighting the Arbiter, maybe? I don't know, because that sounded like the pun I picked was, like, the sooner one. But, oh, we got to do this whole Sephiroth fight again. Oh, no. Let's see if I can get my shit together for that finale. That final part is very, very difficult. Ugh. Should have to just block that one. So, yeah, this place was... Pretty. I, I thought this phase was like, wow, okay, they're not making this very difficult at all, but of course that finale was, was a mess. Let's see if we can do this as clean as possible. Oh, no follow-up with the Aeolians. Oh, there it is. Ah, okay, I'm eating shit. Right. 
Ha! Uh, remember I said I was gonna try and do this one clean since since I knew this one's easy. And now I'm making all these basic boy mistakes. Ooh. I think I got up. You're done. All good. Nice. Oh wow, we got a sneaky chakra there <laughs> before the cutscene. That's uh, very funny. Oh right, okay. Say goodbye. Ah, oh, we wasted the stagger. That's bad. Oh, a little. Oh no, a little too early. What? Whoa, hold. That wasn't very nice. Let's try that again. Oh. Come on. Beg for forgiveness. Don't think so. I'm through with you. Oh yeah. Oh, pressured a little bit, are ya? Okay. Try this. Oh boy. He got me with the scintilla. Fair. Oh, let's get that refocus in there. Oh no, my god, okay. Well, now I'm gonna die before we even get the phase, whatever the heck the phase was. Oh boy. Oh god, Blizzaga. Okay, well, let's see. Oh! Yeah, I, I, I thought I tried to avoid that one, but it didn't quite work out. Oh, not with that scintilla. In fact, I'm just gonna chalk right up while you're doing that. Yeah, you're staggered. Oh, no. No, no, fuck! I'm screwing it up, I'm screwing it up. That's fine, that's fine. Ah, uh, that final hit wasn't staggered because I got panicked. I'm, I'm really panicking here, actually. This is not good. Because I don't actually have a good counter for that, like, final couple of phases. So it was such a mess when, like, he cast all those spells and... And that final... Apparently there's, like, a timer, but he also does tons of damage. Yeah, I don't know. I'll try to figure it out, but oh my god. All right, here comes uh yeah. Did you miss me? Not really. What a weird line. Not really. Yeah, so what? Screw him. Take the lead. I'm coming. <laughs> 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 Oh, no. All right. Cloud. There we go. What was this? This was the weird. Oh, this thing's following me. Okay. Oh, no. Rude. Okay, okay, Cloud. Say goodbye. I really tried to roll out of that one. Yeah, it did kind of suck. Oh no, now I gotta try and get Aerith. Man, he really did get my number on that, getting that game over, like, on the first go. Now I'm, like, completely tilted. I'm wide awake Don't now, overdo it. so it's my turn? <laughs> Let's do this. A bit of a clutch heal, but like interrupt his shift to get a quick free hit. 
heal. Yeah. That's it. Oh, boundless point. That's the. Ah, no. Can you take over for me? Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Oh yeah, I got you staggered. This move was sick. Look at this. Th th that that's awesome. Oh, that feels so good. Oh yeah. Ugh. Okay. No big deal. Go on. Oh boy, the I'm just gonna block it. Oh, I almost walked away from that too. That was funny. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I really tried to. That that's that's a that's a sharp opening there. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> he's so fast. You saw him like that was really funny. <sighs> Gotta roll the other way. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh. Okay, well, he's stuck there. Yeah, that's a plan. Oh, but this is where it gets messed up, right? Wing comes out. Things get for real, geez. Okay. Although, this is awesome. Check this. This is so good. I love it. What I miss. Let's go. <sighs> okay. Beg for forgiveness. So okay, I, I okay, so yeah, these infusions, right? Starts like doing different spells, including Wind Whale. I'm not even sure what this is. So I think I got like a Got some idea of uh, what to do here a little bit. I'm not I'm, like I'm not pretending I got a great idea, but when he does his telluric fury, it's like a little follow up to roll away there a little bit. Uh... God damn it! I, I just shouldn't, right? I, I just shouldn't because I know that I don't have time to pop off the item if it's like. Oh, right with the cure. No, you don't. The goddamn freaking! I was hoping to interrupt this move, and now I'm like, look at me. I'm like, what? Okay. I don't know how to avoid his Octa Slash. What the heck is the trick there? I don't get it at all. Anyway, I think we just gotta use Healing Wind to, so we survive. Ooh, why don't we maybe not stand there, Aerith? Ah, you had to stand there. Oh boy. Uh, oh! Gotta focus or it's over. Well, that was a good attempt, I guess. Enjoy. Hey, I avoided the Blizzaga. That's something. God damn! So, 
cool groovy. So yeah, I looks like looks like I got really tilted by that first loss because that that was a terrible showing. Re like wow, oh man, sorry everybody, we're in for the long haul. Apparently, they did not uh, skimp out on this Sephiroth finale, eh? Taking a drink here in the middle. Sorry everybody, this is that much help. I need to get a little drink there so I can handle this. <laughs> Oh, man, but honestly, Sephiroth, like, we're super not supposed to be fighting him at this point of the narrative, so it being Mondo difficult is on brand. What am I supposed to do against that Octa Slash? I didn't feel a thing. I kind of felt a thing. Dude, stop blocking! Okay. Wow. Oop, oop, huh. Sorry. Is that it? Yodo. Wait, I got juggled. You can't do that. You have we forgotten already? You can't you can't juggle me. All good. Dude, dude's getting juggled there. That's good. Sorry, I'm now trying to like focus mode since like this is really tough fight. So, oh right, up. Oh, I didn't. We didn't get the cutscene. My bad. Uh, froze up there for a second. I was confused. Yeah, a quick little damage there with that. Oh, a little slow there. I can't. There we go. Get a couple of chakras there and make him spin. Whatever. Don't think so. Alright, get that refocus going. So we're in to win it now. Oop. Interesting, you can kind of stop his... Uh, you, you can kind of stop his uh, attack, apparently, if you attack right. When his Telluric Fury happens, if I saw that correctly. I wonder if there's tricks like that for dealing with him. There we go. For in, in that final phase, that's so tough. What's, what the? What was that explosion just there? I don't know. Anyway, let's just cross slash him. Alright. Alright, now he does this monsoon stuff right here. Left hand rule! Oh boy. Did you miss me? And this phase wasn't very tough either, still. We could still. Or, well, I shouldn't start bragging here, but. Yeah, so this was pretty doable. Okie dokie. Let's try that again. Although he is kindly permanently pressured, apparently. All right, now I'm just making a bunch of stupid mistakes, including getting Cloud killed this early, so that's not good. Okay, up and at him. That was something. 
Just, just go away. Okay. I wonder if setting up some regens might like get this done. Oh. There we go. Just apparently just running away will do the job. Oh, look at how terrible we're doing. Look at how terrible we're doing all of a sudden. Now I can't even get myself, you know, out of this pinch. Did you say, will you dream with me? Did I hear that right? No, thank you. God, that's... Uh, that cure was wasted, that auto-cure. Wow. And I said that this phase was like, okay, but now, yeah. I'm doing everything wrong here. I'm so tilted. This is hilarious. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's just watch that round. Wow! I don't want to hit that retry from first battle. We're going to have to end up fighting the, 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 the Whisper Kaiju if I hit that by accident. Uh, but, I, you know, I'm just like, I wish... I wish there was fight checkpoints here so we could just get into the... Uh, we could get to that phase where we got to the at the very end there. We almost had him, you know. Let's finish this. Alright. No, just gotta get my shit together. There we go. Get behind him. Just a little trick there. And then again there. Just get a little... Oh my god, he's getting juggled. Oh, we almost got him staggered already. Kind of like this. You're done. All right, launch him, <laughs> dude. He's just laughing while I'm uh, midair juggling him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, he's doing something. Oh, interesting. He interrupted my little ability there. Oh, now he's got those follow-ups. Okay. See, I feel like I can walk away from that follow-up if uh, once we get to phase phase three or whatever. Like, I, you can just kind of like there's a, there's a gap in his uh, moves. I think that I can just kind of sneak away from. Oh. But I have to, like, I really need to sharpen my shit up here. I need to get my shit together if I want to beat this guy. Oh, no. Got me with that scintilla. Uh, pull up that refocus. Should I save that for, like, the very final phase? I don't know. Feel it? Ooh, look at this fighting game, like, po posing there. That was awesome. Gotcha, Staggered. Oop, can't quite get that in time, but we got at least that's still good damage. Okay. Is there a way to, like, skip? No, we gotta watch these. Alright, fine. Because it's part of the fight, so no skippies on these fights. Well, they're not super long, these cutscenes, but, you know, at this point I'd like to get a move on, shall we say. Although this is hype, having Aerith show up like this. 
So fighting fighting him head on with Aerith, like me controlling Aerith, just does not work. I really shouldn't do that except except when I have no choice. Ugh. Kia, Kia, uh, uh, uh. Let's try that again. Come on. Ah, you thought I avoided that one. Ooh, hold on, let's. Actually, let's, let's put that regen. If this is the difference in this fight... Go on. There we go, got him staggered. I was like, I want to stagger this guy. Yeah, but maybe the difference for winning this fight is that I need to have regen going on my heroes, so... Who knows? Oh, these follow-ups. Okay. Actually, Aerith's doing okay health-wise, so let's just cure up Cloud. Like, we've really drawn aggro this round. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Stand there for a hot second. Oh, he avoided it by doing his stupid move. Oh. Here it comes. You did it? Oh, I got. Oh, I didn't get Scintilla. Okay, nice. In fact, now's my chance to just do this real quick. And why don't we put a regen on Aerith at this point, just in case? Oh yeah. Finish this. Uh, Big slam. Okay, now I need to oh, loosen up shoulders, get ready, because this is where it gets messed up, this phase. Ooh, that's still awesome. I think I just need to... Focus on playing as Cloud. No, don't try to style with the other characters. I think it's the, really the only real option we have here. Right. Now this Wind Whale, I... Okay, 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 hold on. Let's drop a regen on Tifa as well. And let's just use a Mega Potion on Cloud. Let's drop another Mega Potion on Cloud, man. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha! There's a little crumbled. Ooh. Well, let's just call in some backup. Duty calls. Uh. Ooh, yeah, hold on. I forgot that we have Barrier here with Tifa. This might be the trick. I forgot all about all my buffs. I gotta stop rolling backwards. Ah, oh. when he uses that, it's it's embarrassing that I keep doing that. Okay. Nope. 
Nope. Ow, with the Thundaga, Insta Thundaga. What? All that had just crumbled. Wow. Sorry, I need, I'm being really quiet now. I'm like super serious focus mode here. I'm really sorry. That, that's not good commentary, but like, I gotta... Oh, that was really funny because I was standing there. <laughs> posing. What the? What, what was that? I totally super like... Stopped him right there. Oh, Shadow Flare, huh? Okay. Get away from that. Okay. Alright, here's the here's the combo. Put that there, and then Cloud. Aerith uses Cure on Cloud, and we switch back to Cloud. Ah! This combo! Oh, that's bad. Okay, Tifa, 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 Tifa. Drop that item right now, please. Ooh. This flit. Ooh. I saw that coming. But watch me here, setting up my. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. You just stand still for like five seconds. Nice. He's what, what is this corner trap I'm in? Oof! Dude is crumbling, apparently. Staggered! Nice! Just do a ton of damage against this guy, okay? Uh, let's just heal up here. Hey! Got a little bit in the flow! Ah, but then I over overshot with my combos there. That's embarrassing. Right for me. Okay. Oh, this frost spike sucks. Get him! I'm getting away from it. Uh, I'm gonna just block this blizzy. Ble 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 there we go. Oh, he's gonna follow up. You rude Sephiroth, man! You. Oh, I'm with the positioning of that Hell's Gate. Ugh. What are you doing? Just, just taunting me? Didn't feel a thing. Okay, uh... Now, Barrier's not gonna help against Blizzaga, but, you know... Oh, you can destroy the Frostbite! You saw they had their own little health there. Interesting. I would much rather keep the... Oh, this nonsense! Whatever the trick is for avoiding that Octa Slash there, no clue. Ooh, hold on. All good. Try this. Are you Where's that Shadow Flare? There it is. Get away, get away, get away. Okay, okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. 
ain't dead yet. Immediate combo. Oh, cry. <laughs> oh! Nice. Alright, I'll say, that's the best I've done that phase so far, yeah? I seem to have things in control. Using those barriers and regens had to be the deciding factor. Boy, am I an idiot for not using all of my supplies. Also, Tifa is all out of MP. I will might not need barriers for this phase anymore, so... I can't tell where the Shadow Flares are. Oh, there, there's a couple. Ugh, ah. ah. Got it. Dude, this music. <laughs> Incredible. Um, is there anything I could do, like some crazy item to... Aha! Oh, with those lasers. How do you even avoid those? Anyway. Cool. But this move sucks! All right, let's see if this works. Come on, just die, Sephiroth. Oh, we're getting close. Oh, but so apparently... Hold on, Sephiroth can't do this at this point in the story. This isn't fair. <laughs> Look at this nonsense. Oh, God, here we go again. It all comes crashing down, huh? We got really close this time. Unless this hit kills him. Nope. Now this hit kills him. Whoa! Okay. So my mistake on the first round was way too much panicking, apparently. Should have played it more carefully. Even though things got nuts there at the end, huh? <sighs> we can do this. We can. We can change it. Make it right. Let's go. What the heck is the plan here, you guys? Oh! Okay, then. Oh! Oh no, more! More, more PlayStation game references. Super early. Whoa! Oh no! One more fight. Oh, this music choice. Mm. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day, but I will not end, nor will I have you end. This is... The Edge of Creation. Oh boy. Cloud, lend me your strength. What? Let us defy destiny together.
never. <sighs> okay! Oh my god, this shit right here is so good. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on, Cloud, how are you? This is still Cloud at the start of the game, what the hell? What the fuck? But what will you do with it? Let's see. Okay, no, we didn't have to do one more fight. They, they teased us. Unless he shows up again. Who the hell knows? This freaking guy keeps popping in and out. Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this goon squad. <laughs> <laughs> this freaking guy. Oh boy. You can tell Heidegger's like tilted because he had a good rapport with the former president Shinra. And now, you know, now his position is severely, severely curtailed there. Man, I hate this guard duty. Always have to listen to that guy laugh maniacally every day. That's what that guard is thinking in the background. <laughs> Wait. Was that all of them? Huh? What? No, hold on now. Hey, Cloud. You see that? Oh, I... What the freak is going on? Is this a flashback or... Alrighty then. Dude, the main theme of Final Fantasy VII cutting in here like this. Thank you. Good stuff. 
Yo, that guy in background. Whoa! Everyone in this world is jacked because Cloud was just kicking around those rebar and not re gear girders, and now the, those dudes were just single arm carrying them. What? Uh. It's snowing. Whoa, hey, what? Oh, 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 hold on a minute. No, oh, come on. After all the wedge hype, it's Biggs who gets the reveal? What? As he's still out there. I. I thought you beat him. We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. Too. Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. Dude, this Silent Hill here, what the heck? Okay, what? Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just so confused <laughs> what is going on. In... Okay, it's just dramatic. Flashback juxtaposition. Okay, huh. I miss it. The steel sky. Yeah, beneath a steel sky. That was a classic adventure game. Nice nice call out, Aerith. Huh. The unknown journey will continue. That's the ending? Oh, okay. I actually have a bit of mixed feelings with this ending. <laughs> um Like, uh, it was it was it was lots of good hype there though, but um, okay, what a what a mind screw. <laughs> and all those sudden flashbacks there messing with me. Uh, Unable to follow. I, well, that might be just me. It might be the user and user end problem here. Not being able to follow what the hell is going on with some of those wacky flashbacks. Oh man, 
we gotta do a review here. Well, first of all, before I start reviewing the game, just everybody remember, this is not the entire end of this remake playthrough. We still have the extra Yuffie chapter to play through, and I am gonna be doing that. Not exactly my style to play the extra DLC stuff, but, but, but I might as well do it. Lobuo! Yay! Um, but yeah, look, so next week there will still be the intermission chapter, because I do wanna... This is, this is something I'm invested enough in so to jump in and play that. So look forward to that next week. But let's do a review here. Normally when I, at the end of the game, give my thoughts and reviews, I tend to go in the order of story, then gameplay, then presentation. I'm gonna go in reverse order today because I want to, at the very end, have like a spoilers talk. So I'm gonna talk about the story in non-spoilery terms, since there's still plenty of story left to see. Um, but then I want to, like, a moment to just quickly chat about some, like, thoughts that are, like, outside of, um, you know, you know, no, that are, where, I'm, where I'm finally free to talk, like, really just straight spoiler stuff, yeah? So, so, we're gonna do it in reverse order, so. And obviously, let's freaking go, freaking music is Nobuo Uematsu, you know, one last time on the saddle, I guess, with this Final Fantasy stuff. Killing it as always. Great freaking music. Uh, and apparently there's like a bunch of other people. Yeah, like I mentioned, Keiki Kobayashi did the music for the 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 the, the Valkyrie fight, and that was like really good. So, 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 um. Everybody who worked on the soundtrack here did a great job. Although, I will say, there weren't a lot of memorable, like, original renditions, if you will. Oh, look how nice! They gave us, like, a little cast list here. Good stuff. Um, like, the, the original songs, I don't remember any, like, insanely good ones. The, except the Valkyrie one is the one like uh, the one like a uh, difference I'd say the, the one exception the Valkyrie boss music was great but outside of that it, it was leaning pretty damn hard on the uh, on the Fred Tattashore was Don Corneo ah cool Larry Davis Chocobo Sam. I gotta remember Larry Davis. I gotta look that guy up at some point. His, his voice acting was so hilarious that I gotta get it. Dude, Yuri Lowenthal was Johnny. There you go. That's very funny. Oh, Andre Sogliuzzo was. And Josh Keaton was in there. Really? Huh. Cool. Um... Hey, Alejandro Saab! Yes, 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 I did read somewhere he voiced Jules. I remember that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was looking up some of his roles when I was playing River City Girls 2. Okay. Cool. Oh, Skylar Davenport was in here too? Cool. There's a lot of names here I'm like, I don't know who these are, but then I see some of these and I'm like, oh yeah, that person. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess some of the ambient music that was original was pretty good. Like, just the dicking around in the slums music was pretty good, I guess, yeah. But yeah, the big moments in the soundtrack for sure were whenever it was like a reference to an old, old rendition by Mr. Uematsu being remixed, obviously. Being orchestrized and made triumphant modern music, you know. Eh. It works. It, it worked. It was great. I enjoyed it. We're, we're, we're heavy nostalgia baiting with this game, so, you know, eh. Um, and, and the game's beautiful, obviously. It's so lovely. Speaking of nostalgia baiting, seeing all the stuff from the PlayStation 1, with it's cute. With all those cute uh, poly polygonal graphics, but seeing them realized, like, like full modern graphics... You know, lovely HD look, you know, actually seeing the places and recognizing them it was very satisfying. All those shots that looked wonderful. You know, stuff like just the robot arms in the highway, as simple as that. The slide monster, uh, like various spots in Shindra Tower being like, I, 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 I kind of remember this spot. Yeah, yeah, like the, the big diagram of, of Midgar. Um, do, 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 do. 
just the interior of the Seventh Heaven bar, you know, all sorts of like, oh, Aerith's house, just all those realized, very lovely. Um, a lot, lovely, lovely stuff. I, I don't have a lot to say about the presentation except it's great. I mean, look at all these great moments here. Gameplay, I have a little bit more to say. Um, what I really like about the gameplay, and well, obviously, you know, they decided to make it an action RPG rather than uh, a turn-based RPG. Although, I think the choice of like the ATB meter filling up in the middle of the fight uh, and being able to do moves, and they give you the optional classic mode so you just focus on doing the moves, that was all very clever and I think it was a very nice realization. I, I, I think this is the happiest I've been in, like, these, like, let's turn this RPG into an action game. Like, the best melding, maybe. I, I don't know, because, like, I've played a couple of Tales games on this channel, and I enjoyed those games a lot, and I enjoyed them, but, like, I don't know, this 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 this, this combat system, I, I have more fondness for than, than the Tales ones. I don't know, probably if I sit down to play a Tales again, I'll probably enjoy it again, but, no. Um... What I really appreciated about the gameplay here is, um, they, uh, they individualize the characters way better than in the original game. The original game has the materia system, which is how you customize your characters, and it's very, it's an elegant system, I like it a lot. The problem is it homogenizes your characters quite a bit. I mean, it's easy to fall into that trap of, like, just putting the kind of optimal same setup on everybody. So everybody kind of ends up playing a little bit similar, you know? Uh, in the original PlayStation game, it, it easily happens. It's really only the limit breaks that kind of differentiate them. Here, definitely, everyone had their kind of own play style that, like, felt you know, unique to them, and they did different things in combat, and the materia system was there to, like, kind of add options, add customization, but it was customization on top of, like, you know, characterization, so I, I really enjoyed that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the one downside that that's really, really another user end problem is I do end up wanting to treat these, like, action games, so I... I so I, the frustration of like how hard attacks track in like action RPGs like this and how you're like expected to like just kind of tank them and like deal with just, you know, I, I, I just want to like kind of block and dodge and everything. I want to treat it like, you know, a more action-y action RPG and, and the game doesn't really let me do that. I realize that if if I were, if, if the game were to be like that, I think the game would be significantly made easier like i think part of the challenge is that the the gameplay is a little stiff but it, it it's a i don't know it's a little 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 grating at times especially when it just sometimes feels like the the like sephiroth's octa slash but you know just sometimes some like moves enemies do that are very obnoxious to try and deal with but they still do a ton of damage so it's just a pain to deal with them eh. i don't know but like no, it was it it it's a fine combat system, and it uh, it does its job well. It presents. Oh, speaking of presentation, presentation and combat, just like seeing the classic boss fights realized as like actual real time events, just insane fights, feels great. You know, I think I've mentioned that. Like you know, Final Fantasy was turn based partly as a limitation of the time for sure. They couldn't program crazy huge fights, but you were supposed to imagine that they weren't just all standing around and taking turns and tossing attacks. You were supposed to imagine that there was like an actual big fight going on. Everybody styling on everybody. And now you got to see that for realsies here. These classic fights for, 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 for realsies, you know. So it was like, wow, good stuff. And yeah, gameplay wise for that, good choice. Making an action RPG made a nice alternate take on Final Fantasy VII that I appreciated. Now, the story, and I think I'm going to have to dwell on the story a little bit, and once we play the Yuffie chapter, I think I'll have more to say about my expectations for the parts 2 and 3. 
Um, well, Final Fantasy VII, the original story, is great. I, I, I'm not going to get into... Obviously, this is still the spoiler-free part, so I'm not going to get into all the um, things that work and don't work there. But here, it, 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 it still... They realize the story very well. Uh, they got all the points through, and I think there were a lot of nice, like, alternate... Um, like, like, kind of alternate, like, ways to, like, present stuff that I enjoyed. Like, always being like, oh, I see! It, it's this, but it's happening, like, in a different way, and I, I, I like that. Um, I've been thinking about this when it comes to remakes in general recently, because there's a lot of... There's always a lot of remakes going on, but, you know. Because um, I don't... Um, maybe this is a discussion I should save for some other time. Maybe I'll save it for the end of the UV chapter, but, like, I think... My, my short thesis is I think, uh... I think it's fun to just see just the idea of, like, taking a familiar story and, like, seeing what is, like, presented as is, and just seeing, like, you know, because not as is, like, like how it's implemented, and then, like, see, just, like, seeing what changes are made and for what reasons. Um, I think it's, uh... I, th I think it's, uh... It's, it's just nice on a, on, a, on a basic level. And it's just enjoyable to, to watch that. And I think here it turned out really nicely. Like, even if it doesn't turn out good, like, just, to, you know, if, 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 if you think it's... If the original is better... I think it's just fun to see, like, the process of what the developers wanted or the creators wanted to, like, switch up and how and how to present everything. That's my short rambling thesis. So in light of that, yeah, I, I was really into this. I, I really enjoyed... Um, I, I really enjoyed uh, the... The, the, the new takes, the... the the new takes and the little additions to like little prop things up and you know uh, prop the story up in various ways. Like you just saw a second ago, there you saw those like failed experiments. That was like a fun thing to like kind of allude to the to a thing that happens. And okay, again, no spoilers, but a creature that I kind of talked already. It was nice to see that, and uh, you know. And it kind of adds to the, like, storytelling of, like, explaining the depravities of Shinra's, like, scientific, like, uh, pursuits, you know? So, that worked, too. Uh, what was I thinking, actually? Hold on now. I was just had a thought going on here. I, uh... mm 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 mm, -mm. Uh, sorry, my, my brain scrambled right now. I, I, I like, uh, you know, certain things are, like, switched up a little bit that could have worked better in the original story. Like, when Aaron, Aaron, when Tifar runs to get save Cloud during the Rufus fight, in the original, original game, Tifa, you know, Cloud just fights Rufus, Rufus escapes, and Cloud just goes and then meets up with Tifa. Here, Tifa actually bails Cloud out from falling off the Shinra building, and I thought that was, like, smart. That, like, uh, gave Tifa a chance to be a little bit more active, you know, here. You know, in that in that sequence. Like, there was a, there actually was a reason for her to turn around and save Tifa, you know, uh, save Cloud, you know. That's good stuff. Uh, so... And, uh... Well, I guess, yeah, I don't really know, without getting into too much spoilers, I still can't talk except that I thought the story was very good. I, and I liked the presentation of all these characters. But I will talk a little bit about, I thought, I'll, the, the new stuff, the completely original content, which I talked early in the playthrough, is they'd have to add that to extend what is like, um, I don't know, five hour, six hour part of the game originally. Like... I realize that they have to add, uh, you know, new content, original content. And it was very hit or miss, I have to say. So I, I hate to say it, but I think a lot of the new new ideas weren't the greatest. 
there were fun side quests, and some of them were kind of hype. Uh, but uh, a lot of side quests were also, you know, okay, whatever. It's exactly what I expect, kind of like an RPG fetch quest. I guess I wasn't expecting too much out of those side quests, but then there's also a little bit of added stuff in the um, in the 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 main story. Leslie's story was kind of hype. Uh, it was kind of fun that Leslie was this secret good guy, but it's still I don't know. It was a tacked on thing. Uh, speaking of tacked on, this connects with uh, uh, story and gameplay. There was a lot of padding in this game. There were a lot of unnecessary levels, I feel like. Because some of those sequences... Uh, I don't think... You could have... Because in the original, they're so short, and they didn't need to be stretched out the way they were. I, I The sewer level, like, in particular, it sticks in my mind. It, like... It, in the original game, it's like one or two screens... You fight Abzu, you, you fight a few monsters, Sahagins and stuff, and then you're out of those sewers. Now this game, for some reason, made it a, like a big expansive level. Um, and and and, and it had, to, had to revisit it with the Leslie story that I thought was a little... Uh. But that's not the most egregious one. The most egregious one was the chapter when you were going to Reactor 5 when you are on the underside of the plate. So in the original game, same thing happens. You take the train, you have to jump off the train because the alert goes off. You go through the subway tunnels, uh, then you run on some scaffolding, and then you're in the reactor. The subway tunnels and the scaffolding take like 10 minutes at most to play through because they're only like a couple of screens each. But they decided to turn the subway tunnels the scaffolding under the plate, and the Mako reactor in all into their own chapters, and that was very unnecessary, I feel like. You could have had, uh... You could have had, like... Ooh, Destiny's Crossroads was the Chivo I got. Chapter selection has now been unlocked. Open the main menu and access system chapter selection to replay any chapter from the beginning using your current characters, weapons, and materia. Cool! That's fun. A hard difficulty is unlocked. N n items cannot be used, and only HP is restored at rest spots. Ooh, that's that's way too hard. Huh. A new combat simulator has become accessible from Hojo's lab. Huh. The bike mini game can now be skipped. Well, that's very kind. And UV. Yay! We're gonna be doing that. Save my data here, I guess. Uh, which one's the... Uh -huh. Yay. Good stuff. Uh, so, I can understand, like, I could maybe understand having uh, a one level for both the subway tunnel and that scaffolding, but splitting them into two was way too much, I feel like. I would have been fine with, like, chapter... There being just one single chapter, just like the first... The original game, just one single chapter to do those levels and then then go to the... Uh, have have Mako Reactor 5 be the actual level. I think it would have been just fine like that, too. So, yeah, I have to... I have to say that the original content wasn't always a winner and uh, and sometimes felt like padding. Uh, there were There were fun side quests to take in... And then there's stuff like, you know, that guy Roche. I remember seeing him in, like, an early trailer for the remake, and I thought, like, okay, there's, like, a new villain who's gonna be set up as something bigger. Um, but, like, n n no, no, he, 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 I'm shocked. He never showed up after that one boss fight. I, he seemed like a recurring villain. Like, I thought he... Well, actually, I didn't think because I forgot about the guy entirely, but now that I think about it, I was expecting him to show up in the Shinra building for a rematch at least, if not somewhere else. So, what a weird decision. Hmm. But I don't want to be all doom and gloom. The, 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 the stuff for Jesse 
Biggs and Wedge was fantastic. All of them got really nice stuff. Biggs maybe a little, little less, except for that surprise there at the end, where he's like, surprise, he's the one who survives. Yay! But, you know, Jesse got that extra chapter, which actually, that's where Roche showed up. <laughs> but not counting him, that was great, that stuff. You know, learning about Re Jesse's family, getting to dick around on the plate a little bit. You know, that, that was good. I, I hope they lean into more on that kind of stuff in the in the other parts of the remake. Of course, I, I it's sad because I say that's the good stuff, but at, at the same time, that's leaning in on elements that were originally in the PlayStation game. Jesse, Biggs, and Wid. Biggs and Widge? Biggs and Wedge, right? Like, the totally new stuff seemed to be kind of struggling to be up to snuff, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm. But regardless, I really enjoyed just, like, that, just that nostalgia stuff. I, I think I mentioned this in some, like, uh, earlier episode. It's just nice, and also in a way to just you know, if, if it's a if it's a if it's a classic story, it's just nice to like see it realized again, you know, um, and and stuff. I, I'll formulate that thought better again and talk about it at the end of the Yuffie chapter. But it, it was just nice to like to 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 walk through the familiar halls and see like, oh, how did they do these? The, you know, especially like Wall Market, which I'll just say right now was like my favorite level was the dicking around in Wall Market, which is a fun chapter in the original game. And, and, and I thought that was realized so well, all the little elements there. They, they came up all the all the familiar little beats, you know, mini games at the gym, the, the tailor, the, the, the dancing stuff. They even had Cloud, you know, put on a beautiful dress. The whole dressmaking mini game in general. Wow, yeah. Well, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, okay, we're not quite going to go to spoilers yet because I'm going to say what my favorite stuff was. Um, you know, um, my, you know, I always go like, what's my favorite, the favorite, favorite. I'll, I'll say those real quick and then we're going to call it for non spoiler stuff and. Folks who haven't played Final Fantasy VII will have to step out, and then we'll have a quick chat about some thoughts with spoilers fully on. But first, my, my favorites. Mm, my favorite protagonist... Um, I think I have to give the award to Barrett. Uh, Barrett in the original PlayStation game is cool, but he's a bit of a caricature, unfortunately. A bit of a stereotype, especially in the localization, which decided to lean very hard on the Mr. T stuff. But even there, he's a much like deeper character than than than, than the early like gags might give you, might 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 give the impression of. And I think it was better presented here. I think. By the way, just like in the original PlayStation version, like Barrett is like a really smooth operator character. And you can notice it in the PlayStation, like the, the 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 localized PlayStation version. There's sometimes Barrett will have dialogue where he's like cursing and yelling, and and there's like exclamation points. But but he'll just be like really like the character model will be really chill. And that's because in the original Japanese he was like way more like reserved. Um, I'm not gonna say he was necessarily he was a, he was a, he was a loud character here as well. But I think they did a better job of exploring his um, who he actually is a character already here. When normally you get that a lot later in the game, like more of the like death to him. So, uh, and you know him getting that final moment before walking into the 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 ghost portal there at the end, him just like being like I'm gonna do this. I, I don't know. It seems fated that they picked him there and that's why yeah that kind of cemented it that okay barrett's kind of my favorite also favorite like just like non-playable protagonist apparently leaning in here but man wedge got so much hype in this game that uh, that i gotta give the award i thought it'd be a slam dunk for jesse because she's super cool and i know that the internet went nuts for her but i wasn't ready for freaking how much wedge heroed up and ah oh, man with all those all those things there at the end messing with you, like actually now things have changed, and you know, 
this guy's alive and this is this this is different whoa Ah oh, man, I really hope they like reveal that actually no Wedge still is flying because that was so incredibly cruel that that was his fate there at the end. Apparently getting like tossed out a window by the whispers. Oh come on! After everything he did, he became the hero like that. Ugh. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm not a fan. Um. My favorite antagonist, this one I've actually been thinking about for a bit, and it also works because it's tied to Barrett a lot, but um, I, I do have to give it here. I'm going to give it to President Shinra. Uh, I think he's the best protagonist, uh, best antagonist in, in, in the remake. And this is exactly because I think this is somewhere where the remake like is a chance to improve on the PlayStation game. In the PlayStation game, I think President Shinra is kind of kind of um, underplayed, and and it's by virtue. In the original game, you know, he's in the first like quarter, first fifth of the game before he gets killed by Sephiroth. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, so 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 he doesn't have a chance to have much of a presence here. Although, although the scenes he does show up in, pretty good job of making him being a horrible villain, you know. <laughs> um, but here, you know, he is way more present and we get a way more feel of why he is. He's still a capital V villain. He's, he's a monster just like the rest of them. You know, original game, he leaves the... Uh, narrative fairly early. Rufus takes his place as head of Shinra, and all your focus on the Shinra side kind of goes to him. Uh, so you kind of forget about President Shinra, like, very quickly in the original game. I'm, I'm not thinking about him very far. Here, he gets a chance to just be the real big villain, and freaking James Horan, you know, Skullface's voice actor, just providing that extra villain menace just works great. So... Yeah, yeah, this is, um, yeah, yeah, I, I think President Shinra's the best, best, best villain here. And and that's why, I, I getting back to my thing of just, I just like to see them changing up things for a remake and the reasons why. Uh, I think his death scene is better in the PlayStation game. I do think that. PlayStation game, in general, that uh, the, the sequence is better in the PlayStation game, where, uh... You know, it, 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 where 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 Genova escapes, and you follow the trail of blood, and you find President Shinra dead. Here, that 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 all felt a little lukewarm. Here, that there there was there there was a lot less of the mystery involved. Uh, the the setup felt a little more rushed. We had that once again padding. We had that dumb. Uh, dumb science experiment gauntlet from Hojo to play with first, and then we got to get that whole sequence, you know. Eh. But then, then you know, President Shinra, right, you just find him dead in the original game, and I think that works way better. You find him stabbed by Sephiroth, so you didn't even get to stop the evil President Shinra. That, like, satisfaction is stolen from you in the, in the first game by Sephiroth, who immediately supplants as you know, the big deal main villain. And that's why I think that works better. That said, I still see what they went for here in this remake, and I like it still. I like it as, you know, a chance to explore a different way to present that. The fact that we actually have a confrontation with the president, and, you know, Barrett gets to actually have a moment to challenge the president... That's satisfying for us having followed, you know, Barrett's storyline. And it gets the chance, one more chance for the president to be really menacing there at the end. And then he gets stabbed by Sephiroth and, you know, it's... But, you know, again, the difference is Sephiroth has only been talked about in the PlayStation game at this point in the story. He has not been showing up in flashbacks or visions or anything else. Here, Sephiroth has been showing up since, you know, the bombing of Reactor 1 in Cloud's, you know, hallucinations... So it's, like, fine that, you know, he just kind of shows up and stabs the president in that sense. But, you know, but, you know, just in general, even if I, don't, even if I prefer the original, I like that we got, like, this kind of chance to, like, have, like, Barrett and the president square off. 
you know, a nice culmination for these two characters that you don't get in the original. So, you know, it's, it's, that, that, that's, 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 that's just cool. That's just cool. And yeah, easy choice for him, favorite, favorite villain. Favorite boss is also an easy choice. And um, this one is just pure, just like satisfaction, nostalgia bait. I was talking about how satisfying it is to see these, you know, boss fights realized as these big grand spectacles. And Airbuster easily is the number one. Like, like, like hands down. Um, I was a little unsure of the way they kind of introduced Airbuster with that whole mechanic of, you know, you're going to be fighting this thing. It's going to be coming up and you get to like sabotage the Airbuster. I, I thought it was like, hmm, I don't know. They kind of spoiled this giant robot attacking us and this feels weird. This like we're like removing abilities from it kind of like deflates the like you know surprise i was like you know they better like deliver on this boss fight with you know the fact that they are like you know sell, you know playing their hand this early and oh boy that was incredible just quickly you know airbuster original game not a very difficult boss it's considered a rather easy you know speed bump in your <laughs> in your playthrough this one was now properly difficult, and, you know, the thing got to actually do tons of cool stuff. Some stuff that was in the original game, and then, like, you know, you know, really... Um, like, really, uh, you know, new stuff, but it was, like, um, stuff that you could believe that this character has. Like, the, the arms detaching and flying around as rocket punches was, like, absolutely on brand for, for the Airbuster, and it felt great, and all those, like, uh, those big giant tank buster lasers and all those other weird stuff it did. And overall, just the presentation, and, you know, you finally got, like, the... Well, I was actually, it wasn't the first time, but you got, like, the boss theme with, like, this huge actual rock and roll, you know variation which is exactly how it goes in the playstation game that's the first time you hear the boss music which just hypes you up so you can tell like this they knew how important this boss fight is and they just like made it like perfect even though i almost died in it but still like absolutely fantastic in general like the bosses got so much love and and really smart like taking a couple of fan favorites like hell house and 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 uh, the the chariot guy, you know, not fan favorites even. I don't know. They're a favorite. The chariot guy, Hellhouse is a favorite. But just making those their own feature fights too, just very smart, very smart. Despite all that, like Airbuster, like clearly wins the margin there, right? Yeah. My favorite level was uh, 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 absolutely. Um, Favorite level was absolutely Wall Market. I already mentioned that earlier, but like it, it, it was that was a perfect marriage of um, actual RPG, like immersing yourself in a town and dicking around, not just like doing a very obvious video game level, clearing you no know, monster by monster by monster. Like that, that was beautiful. That was a really lovely, lovely take on like that. That felt like you actually were like in in Midgard, the slums of Midgard, digging around in Wall Market, and all the callbacks were just, aw, oh, fantastic. Uh, funniest moment? Mm, there were a lot of funny moments in this. Um, uh, 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 I think... Uh, I think the funniest moment for sure, because uh, because I think fun like oh that was the funnest if not funniest it was it was funny but it was also like really like fun and cathartic was the girl power moment in Don Corneo's mansion where where um, you know Tifa and Aerith like throw off their disguises and you just get to like whoop ass on all the bad guys like that was so much fun. And it felt so good after all the like all the like ickiness of the dawn and everything. And you know, having to like play it cool so long in Wall Market. It just felt great to cut loose with Tifa and Aerith. And it had that like really peppy music. I think it was a remix of um Tifa's theme song. It was fantastic. It was so much fun. That's right. It, you know, that that was a funny scene in general. It's not even, you know, the whole cloud being dressed up 
as a lovely lady and, you know, Tifa being like, wow, that dress. It wasn't, you know, them threatening to, you know, you know, uh, castrate Don Corneo. That, just that that part was like actually so much fun and so funny to like have like Tifa and Aerith just like just like bust heads throughout Don Corneo's mansion. I think I think that's my that's the funniest moment. I think that's a good choice. I, I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, everybody who is... If you are not familiar with the rest of Final Fantasy VII, the PlayStation game, uh, please please uh, tap out now. Uh, don't worry. I will be still avoiding spoilers in the Yuffie chapter, Intermission. So, um, so, 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 so feel free to come back next week. But now I'll just quickly talk, talk about... You know, okay, now you're gone. Bye. Now, for realsies, bye. Good. See you. Thanks for watching. Really, uh, no, seriously. Thanks for watching. This was a ton of fun to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. But, yeah, now, bye. Chew. Get out of here. Okay, spoilers. Um, mm. I, the whole whisper thing, I think I now started to get towards the end here that the whisper thing was, like, messing around with causality and destiny as they talked. And I think, but I think I need to like read up on what the hell was going on here at the end. Uh, all the stuff with Zach there was so weird. Zach returning, and and I guess that's the poem. Like, like you're supposed to be like, oh, he survived, so now things are different. So mm, I think the point here was that yeah, like. Uh, this seemed to be like a little bit of a commentary right on like a on a remake right like it seemed to be like you know here's stuff that's same in the original and here's stuff that's different and and i think like the whole whisper stuff was supposed to be like is it gonna be the same story or is it gonna be different stuff and then at the end it's like no now we can cut loose and have every really crazy different stuff but there was already like different things, like Wedge surviving. Well, I guess he did it in you know it's general. In general, stuff happened differently earlier. But yeah, but yeah, I like I'm the implications were so weird with the Zach stuff, and and I'm like confused how it's gonna work in uh, the later parts. So 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 is the implication that now that Zach did survive that encounter, I, I, I don't know. It's very very odd. Um, um, also, I'll just say this real quick. Now I kind of understand a little bit better, though. I was talking with my friend Jonathan uh, like a while ago when Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core came out recently. And, and Jonathan made like a really good point of, you know, Crisis Core is this prologue that assumes you've played Final Fantasy VII. And it like super explains the deal with... Um, Zack and Cloud, right? Because you're playing as Zack and, you know, all of that happens. Uh, and he was like, wow, this is, feels weird to release this, like, remake of Crisis Core in the middle of these Final Fantasy VII remakes because it's going to spoil a bunch of the plot. You know, the whole surprise about Cloud's real identity, you know, and his relationship with Zack is... You know, anyone who plays Crisis Score here in the middle is going to be spoiled on all of that. So it's kind of hilarious. Now that I've played this first part of the remake through, though, now I kind of see maybe what the idea almost is, is for all the people who don't know Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation who just played this, they must be so confused what the scenes uh, with... Um, with 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 uh, Zach there were right like like if you don't know what who he is what's going on that must make no sense that there's a guy who looks like Cloud but with a different haircut and 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 like he's like fighting a bunch of guys like that may, that scene probably makes zero sense so almost like feels now like Crisis Core Reunion was released for those people to play like you want to know what the hell was going on there um then you play this and now you'll understand and now you'll be ready for parts 2 and 3 cuz now it also feels like the not, it, it now now that I now that now that all this messing around is happening I'm starting to think that 
they're expecting people to know what happens in the PlayStation game. You know, they're expecting the player to know what the events of the original Final Fantasy VII are when playing this remake. Like, this isn't necessarily meant for everybody, both both players of the original and newcomers. So, in that sense, maybe maybe Square is like feels like it's okay to spoil everything involving Zack and stuff. I don't know. But that was very, 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 very strange having him show up all the same because I feel like time paradoxes are happening now, right? So if Zack survives and takes Cloud with him to Midgar, um, Cloud is not left there to be amnesiac. You know, Zack is there for him. Cloud doesn't have to be found by Tifa as an amnesiac and, you know, the whole, whole, you know, ruse starts up that is Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Um, da -da -da -da. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, so I don't know, like, how are they going to square that then? Like, is, is a different Cloud going to show up? Like I thought for a second with that weird flashback hallucination where... Zack carrying Cloud walks past the Cloud we played as. I I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's we're in we're in strange territory here. So I I'm a little mm, I'm a little I wish I could say like I'm excited for the the the, the parts and I am excited to, for the for the next parts. But I'm also a little worried now that they're going this crazy. And I saw that you know in this game they didn't do super good with all of the original content. Are they going to stick the landing with these later remake installments? I don't know. That said, as a singular video game, this game was fantastic, right? Yeah. So so even if, like, parts two and three actually turn out to be, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of flaccid uh, installments, like, like, I'll always be happy that the first part of the remake is such a nice take on the Midgar chapter. So, so, you know. I, I'm 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 concerned, but I don't want to be I don't want to be like cynically negative. So obviously, I will see how it goes. And hey, we're about to play the Yuffie chapter, which is going to be entirely original content. So that's our big chance to see how they do with like a much larger original story in this FF7 universe. We'll see. By the way, now that we're outside of spoilers, also. Um, uh, or we're outside of, you know, spoiler-free territory. We are now allowed to do spoilers. I'll say the one moment of fan service that didn't work at all. You know, I've been saying that I've enjoyed, like, all the references and the alternate takes and everything. But there was one thing they added for fan service, and it super didn't work. And it's thankfully completely blink and you miss. But, you know, it's still so egregious that it's so stupid. It's the one moment where Kate Chi shows up in the middle of the uh, Midgar plate falling, right? That's so stupid. <laughs> Why is Reeve piloting the Kate Chi robot at that moment, right? Why is he doing that? I, I don't know. How is he supposed to help anything while controlling the Kate Chi robot? Uh, and, and like, again, for people who haven't played the original, that makes even probably less sense than the Zack cutscenes. Like, here's this super dramatic, like, tragic moment where, you know, everything is getting wrecked, you know? Like, like it's, it's like, you know, Shinra succeeds in their atrocity. And here's this cartoon cat for, like, two seconds on the screen, and, and then never comes up again. <laughs> what the... What the so, so that, I... That felt, like, completely unnecessary, and, like, that I'm gonna say, like, you, I don't think that needed to be in the game. I would have much rather, like, you know, have, like, a Kate, Kate Sith robot being built in, like, some back room in Shinra Tower, you know, like an opened up robot. Or, you know, you know, I was looking for that megaphone, you know. In the original game, you can find Kate, Kate Shi's final weapon in Shinra Tower already when you first go there, but you can't pick it up. You just get, like, this dialogue where Cloud's like, huh, what's this? A megaphone? Huh. So I was, like, trying to look around, and maybe it's there, but I missed it. I was trying to look around, like, is that megaphone somewhere around here as a reference? That would have worked, like, 20 times better than in-your-face Keiichi running into the straight center of the screen. You know, in the middle of this super dramatic scene that doesn't need a cartoon cat in it. Like, <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even mad. It's just 
the funniest scene. That's almost the funniest scene is how goofy that was. But yeah. Um, now the one last spoiler thing, obviously. Um, uh, I guess I could talk about it now already. Are they going to not have Aerith die? Man, I, I feel horrible saying that out loud, even though I've already, like, a million warnings to people who don't want spoilers, but, like... And also, it's, like, one of the most famous deaths in video games, so, I, you know, who the hell doesn't know that that happens? But still, I just, I don't know, somehow saying it out loud. But no, no, here we are. Are they going to prevent Aerith's death in the remake? Um... I don't know. I I feel like they're playing a very cruel game here a little bit. Um, which is that... Uh, I think they're trying to give us false hope, maybe. With, with all these moments of things have changed and all these people who have actually survived who are supposed to be dead in canon. I think they're, like, putting, like... Uh, you know, you know the chance there. I mean, the chance is there now. The chance was always there, even without all the Defy Destiny stuff of like they just decide to have Aerith survive. But um, yeah, uh, now they're like you know the options there, and if they decide to have Aerith die anyway, that's kind of like making. People who have already relived that tragedy when they first played the game have to uh, have to like re-experience it again. Eh, I don't know. So like all over again with that false hope of maybe this time, and then you still like go through with it. It's gonna be heartbreaking again. I don't know. If that's awful or genius. Maybe that's like evil genius, but. Um, yeah, I, 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 I guess the fact that they've got me second-guessing myself is uh, pretty good. Very, very well done. I like that. Huh. Um, Man, I wish I had a more... My, my reviews are always so incoherent. I should have like planned this because I knew... I, I, I was pretty sure we were getting to the ending here, but I, I talked all over the place. And there's still a lot of stuff I'd like to maybe say, but I can't get my thoughts in order. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to like jot down some notes for the ending of the Yuffie chapter, so I'll talk about them then. But, um... This has been... This was great. Wow. Good job, Square. You you really you really did, like, get it get it here. I'm very happy with it. Um... I... I I'm not, um... I'm not 100% on board with the train, like I said. Like, I'm still, like, careful eye to see if you can, uh... keep it up for the... Other, other, you know, installments, part two and three of the remake, where now you get to have to get a little bit more creative, especially because now you can't rely on claustrophobia of Midgar to make, like, small levels. Like, I don't expect it to be an open world game, um, the, 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 the remakes. I don't expect that at all. But I do expect that they're going to have to make, you know, very different looking levels from just, you know, these industrial hallway cramped spots which works here like i'm not, that's not a problem in this story midgar is supposed to feel claustrophobic especially like in the slums and stuff but you know we're gonna be going to like the chocobo ranch that's gonna have to actually feel like a ranch the swamps with the midgar zolom which by the way I, i've heard I, i've seen it it shows up as a reference. It shows up in uh, Final Fantasy XV, and they actually spelled its name correctly that time. It's it's supposed to be the Midgardsorm, because it's supposed to be the Midgar serpent. <laughs> so so it's supposed to be a little Norwegian. So I expect that to have the name Midgardsorm when we encounter it in um, the remake. But you know, there's gonna be you know. They, they they are gonna have to rethink like a lot of like design like and they can't just reuse assets from the remake that much because you know the village of calm does not look like um not look like uh you know midgar right so it's 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 uh it's uh they got the work cut out for them still. So, but I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, like I said. So I'm I'm rooting for them, and um, 
I, 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 I hope to see something really exciting. Mm. Oh, I'll say one last thing. Quick spoiler. This was brought up like really far long ago. I, I saw someone bring it up and I've been thinking the same thing since and I still kind of think it. But what would be a fantastic opening for part two is if the the flashback was like a cold open. Like you played that part and then like then it like just cut to Cloud telling the story. You know, you've, you've got to the ending and then it just cut the cloud telling that story in that inn in Calm. That would be sick. I am a little unsure now because, um, 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 since they're like, you know, messing with the narrative and, you know, Zack is alive, you know, I don't know. They're like spoiling all this stuff. I, I wonder if the that giant flashback would be like redundant. Like I, I I don't I don't know. Uh. Like is it necessary to have that? Because it, it it almost feels like you know the way they're talking about like Sephiroth now and everybody knows Sephiroth's evil. The only thing we'd really be filling in is why Sephiroth went insane and why uh, you know what Genova is. That's what those flashbacks would then be serving. And I wonder if you need that entire thing for that necessarily. And then. Uh, that's one of the foibles of introducing Sephiroth so early in the story. I understand why they did it. First of all, he's like a very famous villain, so you had to have him show up. And also, like that finale, like I said, if it had if the game had ended on the motorball fight and then just cut to like like as as weird and crazy as this finale was, I understand that you needed something more oomphy for the finale. And Severloth's gonna kind of had to be it, so yeah, I get it, but like I still prefer the original. Like, no, I I said that I like seeing like these alternate takes, and I can see why. They, I, I, there's still stuff that I really prefer in the original, and the fact that Sephiroth is a non-entity until you walk in on dead President Shinra, you know, I think narrative nar narratively, narrative wise, na narrative. It just works better in the story, I think, than him goofing around, tormenting Cloud with all these these uh, hallucinations here. <laughs> uh. So, but hey, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week for the Yuffie nonsense. Yuffie is... I don't hate her, but she's a bit of a non-entity whenever I play uh, Final Fantasy VII. Like, um, I, I guess it kind of happens because she's, you know, optional character in the original game. Uh, I, I think she's a fun character, but I feel like she's a little bit underbaked in, in, the, in the PlayStation game. Um, it's going to be fun to, to see if, like, she now gets what, what she deserves, like, narrative-wise in the remake here. It should be good stuff. But thanks for watching all of this, everybody, and see you next time. Bye!